Hey everyone and welcome to March's edition of Board Game Buys. This is where I talk about all of the board games that I have added to my collection over the last month to give you an idea about what is coming up for review. Now before I talk about the six new games, I want to give a shout out to the show sponsor keyender.co.uk who are my go-to online retailer and if you use the link in the show notes or the QR code then you can get 5% off your first order. Let's start with definitely the most popular game out of the bunch. This is Earth. So I really did miss out on the initial hype train of Earth. Um, definitely took my time to get to this one, but I finally added it to the collection. I have played it a few times now and um, I'm ready to share my thoughts on the game. So I probably won't do a designated review, but I will do it as part of a compilation. But um, I'm probably going to uh, waste my breath talking about Earth here because you guys probably know more about this game uh, than I do. But essentially it is a, um, a tableau builder style game, kind of an engine builder as you are playing cards into this um, 4x4 grid, uh, collecting different ways to score points such as building these um, these kind of towers. You're putting these little sprout markers on these cars all to get you points. Um, definitely a point salad style game. You get points for this, points for that. And um, tons of interaction in the game as well as whenever you take an action, everybody else will get kind of a follow-up weaker action of that. So think of something like Puerto Rico or Race for the Galaxy. It does have that feel to it. So I'm not going to say much more than that. Again, it's a very popular game. Definitely um, amongst the most popular and most revered games of 2023. Um, but I'm looking forward to sharing my thoughts about it just to let you guys know if I think it is as good as the others say it is. So that is Earth. I also... Um, very kindly was um, given a copy of Equity. So this is a game I knew nothing about and I still kind of know nothing about because I've not read uh, the rule book yet. But this was very kindly gifted to me um, by the designer who I believe is a, um, a Norwegian uh, gentleman. So thank you to, I believe it's Marcus who um, who posted this one to me. Now, I like my um, economic games, um, kind of um, stocks and shares, that kind of thing. And this one, I believe, is not too heavy. I think it's, according to Marcus, it's got a lot of player uh, interaction, so you're always engaged in the game. So again, I'm going into this one completely blind. It could be good, um, it might not be, but I'm certainly going into it with um, you know, with optimism, and I hope it is going to be fun. So that is our Equity. I picked up a copy of Quicksand. So Quicksand is a real-time cooperative games. Now this is actually um, two genres that I normally don't get along with. Um, so you might ask why did I pick this one up? Because I don't know, I, something about this one uh, appealed to me. So you can see here this one uses sand timers. And I think the thing that appealed to me about this game um, is the fact that it does seem so simple. So essentially you're going to have this track of these tiles and every player is going to have a hand of cards which will either have a shape or a colour on it and on your turn you're going to play one of those cards and all the hourglasses that are on that either shape or colour will jump onto the next tile and flip over so it's all about trying to keep these sand timers alive and not to let them kind of run out of sand of course uh, and there's a bunch of different challenges all increasing in difficulty I have yet to play this one it could be great it could be terrible I don't know the jury is still out but um, we will see you hopefully I'll get this one played within the next week or so so that is quicksand definitely yeah, a novelty factor but I kind of like a novelty game or two in uh, the collection on to a game that I've been trying to get for a while now. This is Caper Europe. I know this game is widely considered to be one of the best two-player only games kind of of the last maybe five years or so. Um, for some reason, this game always kind of fluctuated in price. It seemed to be very expensive at times and, um, and out of stock a lot of the time as well. Fortunately, I managed to get this one for a reasonable price and I was always curious to why it was so expensive. But having had the box in my, um, in my hand now and seeing all the components, it is of a very high quality. So I can see where some of that money uh, is going. Now, I believe this is a card-driven um, tug-of-war style game. You know, some of those games hit for me, some of them miss for me. But I thought that many people can't be wrong on this one because it does seem to be, you know, very well respected even by um, by reviewers and um, content creators who I respect myself. So, uh, again, I'm going into this one with, with cautious optimism um, and hopefully it is as good as they say. So that is Caper Europe. 
on to the last couple now. Uh, the first of which is another game from 2023. Uh, this is Triketa by Stefan Dora. So I generally like Stefan Dora games. I mean, I made some of the classic fillers. Uh, this one is a spin on the Coloretto uh, Michael Schott classic game. Uh, 20 to 30 minutes, two to five players. And it does have that Coloretto mechanism where you can either add a tile, in this example, to a row, or you can take the entire row. Now, the twist on this game is that you are trying to score trios of all the different animal types. And if you do, you are going to get the points um, kind of depicted on those tiles, and the tiles are very nicely um, put together here. And if you go under, you're going to be okay because you're going to get a point for each tile. But as soon as you go over, you are going to start accruing negative points. So it really is a balancing act, a pacing act as well. You don't, want to get, you don't want to get too much too soon because sometimes you might be forced to take tiles that you don't want, which could, of course, sabotage your scoring. So again, I'll probably do a designated review of this one because it's only going to take me uh, a very short time to put it together because it is a very simple game, uh, but that is Triketa. And, you know, without going into spoilers, if you like Coloretto, you'll probably like this one. And the final game I'm talking about is probably going to be the um, the hotness out of the bunch. This is Veil, vale, or the Veil vale of uh, Eternity. This game getting a bit of buzz uh, at the moment. I've been waiting for this one for quite some time now. I uh, finally hit the shores here uh, in England. Uh, this is a little tableau builder, a little engine building style game where you are playing these really nice looking cards in front of you and all of the cards have unique abilities on them to hopefully get you points. It does have this racing aspect where you want to be the first to reach to 60 points, but if you don't um, get there in time, the player with the most points by the end of the 10th round will be uh, the winner. But Definitely loads of combos galore here. Um, it has quite an interesting coin mechanism as well. You know, the way you're paying for these cards is interesting because you are locked into only ever having four coins at a time. Um, and you do need to play things in the right order to get the most out of your engine. I'm going to leave my thoughts on it there, but I am really um, kind of eager to get my review of this one recorded because I have played it a few times now. And... Um, I think it deserves its spotlight and you know should be talked about in its own uh, regard because whether, whether for good or whether for bad, this game is certainly um, certainly blown up in terms of popularity and getting a bit of buzz. So that is Veil vale of Eternity. So that's it, really. That's the six games that I have um, acquired over the last month. So you know, pretty um, pretty reserved amount and some different types of games here as well. So I think it's quite a nice um, diverse range. You know, real time co ops, you know, two player games, little filler games, um, hotness with these um, tableau builder, even a, a completely obscure game that I'm sure you guys haven't heard of, and of course the big blockbuster in terms of um, Earth. I'll get that out of the way now. But um, that's that's the video concluded. Um, hopefully you have enjoyed it and um, are eager to hear my thoughts. Um, on these six games. Um, if you have enjoyed the video, please be sure to hit like and subscribe to the channel and check out my other content too. And for everybody else, I'll see you next time on Chairman of the Board. Bye-bye.